So today we're going to be talking about how to use hair combs. Hair combs are very popular, particularly in the 40s, um, to use to hold your hair instead of a bobby pin. Now, I've never really been a big fan of these hair combs because they have such fine hair that pretty much everything just slides right out. Um, but I had heard about this particular brand called Grip Tooth, and they are specially designed so that they don't have space between the teeth. So you can see that the teeth on this comb, they're actually touching. And so that's supposed to give them a much better hold compared to your regular old drugstore brand of hair combs. And um, Bell Blossom actually carries these and they use these to make their hair, their flowered hair clips. So I thought I would try them out. So I got one set of um, plain ones and they sell them in clear, then this kind of a tortoise shell shade and they also sell them in black. And I also got of these cherry blossom hair clips, combs. You can see that they are the little bell blossoms and they're on the Grip Truth combs. So how do you use these? There's a couple different ways you can use them. Kind of the, I think the traditional way is you want to take them and you want to put the curve side towards your head and you're going to comb back, flip it around and push it forward. And that gives you a whole lot of volume. See, lots of volume. If you want less volume, you can pull the hair back, insert the comb, and then kind of hold the hair and push the comb at the same time. And you can see this is coming out much flatter to the head. Now, another thing you can do if you don't want the volume the entire length of the comb is to take the hair and give it a little twist and then insert like that and you can see it's got more of a pointed shape where the volume is focused towards that center of the hair comb and that's gonna look more like if you were to do the twist and push with the bobby pins. So there you go. Now when you're using um, these clips, I think they are kind of large you can see it takes up almost my whole head from the top of my ear to my part and it really bothers me having things like behind my ear so I gotta be really careful as to where I put them um, but they do hold really well and I can leave them in there as long as I get them some situated someplace where they're not poking me in the ear that it'll just stay in there all day now the ones with the flowers don't work well when they kind of go back and turn around because if the flowers are in the way, that kind of gets a little clunky. They work better with this way. But again, if you want more volume, then don't hold the hair while you push. If you want less volume, hold the hair while you push. And they can just, and you can see that, you got a row of hair flowers in there. So um, that is just kind of a basic little how to use hair combs um, and look forward to seeing some more styles I'll be using hair combs um, if you have any questions about how to use hair combs let me know I will leave a link in the description to Bell Blossoms where you can purchase both the flowered and the plain grip tooth combs thanks for watching